I'm John Skinner, and this supports my book, Striper Pursuit, and you can learn more about the book at striperpursuit.com. Okay, and here's what's going to set up this bite. This is a huge school of adult bunker getting absolutely hammered by the biggest blue fish you're going to see. Um, the small blues in this session are around 11 or 12 pounds, and there aren't too many of them. Most of these fish are going to go 15 to 17 pounds, and this is something, you know, you often hear people say, oh, yeah, they're 15-pound blues and all that. Um, I've got a scale, and we're going to put some fish on that scale and, and get a weight, and we're going to see a 20-pound bluefish, a legitimate 20-pound blue, and boy, that is a creature to behold. Um, all right, so these things are feeding on adult bunker. These are like one-pound bait fish. So I'm throwing a six-inch Tsunami XD talking popper. Um, and, yeah, this is going to be some exciting top water action. Okay, so this rod is, um, <clears throat> this is a 20-year-old rod. This is a Lamaglass GSB-1081L custom rod. Um, that I had built at Rocky Point Fishing Stop uh, by Stan Henschel back in 1997. And uh, it's not actually the greatest rod for this application, uh, doing the pencil popping with a um, almost a two and a half ounce plug. <clears throat> but it was, uh, I had been doing a lot of fishing with like one ounce lures and this was a real sweet match to that. And then these guys popped up. But you know what, this rod has a lot of, um, power you can really lean on a fish I've actually landed a couple of 40 pound bass over the years on this rod um, but uh, yeah the tips a little bit whippy and um, <clears throat> this was actually the rod that uh, inspired me to come up with what's now called the Lama Glass John Skinner rod which is the Lama Glass 10 footer that's cut from the butt to make a nine because I wanted something a little bit more powerful than this and something that could handle a little more weight but uh, yeah, this is still a great old rod. I've got a Pen Torque 5 on here, which is a beautiful reel. What a drag system on this thing. 30 pound test uh, spider wire Invisibraid. 50 pound liter of green trilene big game. Uh, tactical angler's clip at the end. The braid is joined to that leader with um, a high quality barrel swivel. Uh, Palomar knot one end, clinch on the other. So that's about all the gear. Ah, boy, if they could all do that and I didn't have to handle them with the hooks and everything. Um, off he goes, and uh, we're going to get some more. Okay, and this is October. This is Eastern Long Island Sound. And um, I'm going to keep the narration pretty sparse from this point on, let you enjoy the action and uh, hear what's going on. And, uh, yeah, you know, a lot of people will you know, turn their nose at bluefish. And, yeah, I don't want to deal with you know, three and four pound blues, but once they're 10 and 12 pounds, I want to deal with them. And when they get up to this size, oh boy, they're a lot of fun. And I was real excited to get onto these. All right, enjoy. And I'll jump in at a few points uh, and make some comments.
Yeah, let's check out the belly on this fish. Yeah, these are gorging on those bumper. And I've got a single hook on there. That's the one that comes uh, with the plug right from the factory. I'm not a fan of this hook. Um, if I was doing serious bass fishing, I would not uh, keep that hook on there. I would go to a, um, a 6X treble. And, uh, but, you know, it, it's okay for these blues. Uh, and it sh certainly makes life a lot easier on hooking them. You want to weigh him? You got a scale? Yeah, yeah. I was just going to sit and ask him if you had a scale. Yeah, just come over, grab it off my belt. Because I'd like to know because we had bigger ones than this the day and I didn't have a scale. So I'd love to get some kind of frame of reference. I would hand Thanks. it to you, but... No, 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 you're going to hand it to me. It's all good. Here we can walk back a little. Walk back. Six, Six, 16, yeah. What do you think? 16. Yeah. Right there, yep. We got it. I guess I don't really need the bulga. <laughs> There's a few out today, huh? Thank you, John. And this is a, from my house. <laughs> now my brother lives around the corner. Dixie! 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 I think I better take a break. Show up for a little while. It's gonna be all worn out. Put it on the boat. Thanks. Just hold this. Yeah. Here. Congrats, you got it. What is it? Come here. Come here. Can't see. I you got see 20. It. You got 20. There's 20 on. Yeah. It. Something I like want to see what it looks like. Because uh, I, I had some big ones the other day. What a moose. Holy shit. That thing's got to be 18. No, it's 20 pounds. Oh, it was 20. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay. So that gives me an idea. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Thanks, Josh. Yeah, that's a hell of a fish. Uh, I'm going to deal with a bit of water on the camera here, and I'm going to wipe that in a bit, so we'll, we'll get that off there.
this one's got me around the rock. Okay, so in a situation like that, um, I know it's going to put a lot of pressure in there. I'm going to try and pull this fish out of there. If he wants to run, I'm going to loosen up on the drag. But right now, I'm just trying to pull him off, and I am able to get him off that rock. Okay, so note that that bunker school is long gone, and these are, I guess you could call them residuals that are left here, but there's a lot of fish because we're getting hit just about every cast. Now, before I put the camera on, we had about an hour of it where the, this bunker school was like basically going around in circles out there. It was taking these wide circles well out of range, sometimes coming within range, but it didn't matter. You know, even if you couldn't reach the bunker, uh, the, the bluefish were there, so... Uh, the bunker brought a lot <coughs> a lot of bluefish into the area All right, I took a quick break there to change the plug because I felt like the hooks were getting banged up a little bit from the pliers and stuff, and also to wipe the lens, uh, get the water off the lens. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and he caught it back. I say that before. Usually they follow each other. Yeah. Yeah, that was either multiple or uh, one desperate one.
One of my fish spit this bunker up, so I just wanted to bring it up on the shore and uh, get it on camera just so people who aren't familiar with this bait fish can get a feel for how large they are. I'll stay high, you stay low. You know, I think the color on this looks different. Aha, that's a bass. Comes in like nothing. <laughs> Well, it's not big either. Oh, what a tail! <laughs> that was a nice tail. Wow, that was some tail, huh? Yep. Just gotta keep them high. I got a rock over there. Surprised how well the plugging held up after the bunker left. Sometimes you can quiet down. Yeah, yeah. Boy, these fish have some power, and uh, yeah, you know, these Lamaglass GSB blanks, they've been around a long time, and this rod has seen an incredible amount of use, um, and you can see, I don't hesitate, hesitate to put a good bend in it, and it holds up. Um, you know, these, All these right, my arm really is officially break. tired. Excuse me? My arm is officially tired. Yeah, yeah I know.
boy, this one doesn't want to come in. Okay, so that's a 17 pounder. All right, I hope you uh, enjoyed watching this. This is the kind of video I'll go back and watch during the winter when nothing's going on. It's a lot of fun. All right, thanks for watching. Oh, look at all that stuff he just spit up.